Hey guys, let's see who this is that is invading your space here. Scorpios. Who's invading Scorpios energy currently? If you guys are interested in a personal reading, please go to pinkarianjim.com and select your reading there. Scorpio. Who is this person? Who is this person? Piscean energy here with the High Priestess. Somebody that's probably not speaking to you, nor you them. Um, I feel like you guys are very in tune with each other's energy, even if you're not speaking. You guys may be having dreams um, about this person. This person may be having dreams about you. You guys are like communicating without actually verbally communicating here. But um, I do get that there is a silence between the two of you here. Keeping their feelings to themselves. As I pull the Four of Cups, keeping them their feelings to themselves. Um, this person is emotionally stable. They do not want to rock the boat here. So whatever it is that they're feeling, no matter how intense it is, they're holding it in. They're holding back. This person's holding back cancer energy there. Five of Pentacles. This person does not want to be rejected. It's the bottom line. I think that's why they have not reached out to you. Because they don't want to take the chance of being rejected. I feel like somebody left this situation, whether it was them or whether it was you. But um, they're just kind of letting things be right now because that is what's safe, I feel, here. This Taurus energy. Then we have the Emperor there, Aries energy stubborn not doing anything this person is not going to budge they're not going to budge um, I feel like this person is someone that likes for people to make the first move towards them they like to be sought after okay this is the king of kings this emperor so they feel like they've done everything that they could do and it's time for someone else to make a move is what I'm getting here, okay? <clears throat> Two of Wands, again, Aries energy. I feel Aries Pisces is very strong here. Taurus Cancer is also present. But this is someone who definitely thinks about taking action, but is not taking action. They know what they want to happen. But they're not doing anything to make it happen, is the thing. They're at a crossroads. Okay. Nine of Cups. Again, Piscean energy. Pisces, Aries, very strong in your reading. Um, this is somebody that is currently taking a time out, basically, uh, emotionally. They're not willing to share their emotions. They're strictly concerned with themselves right now and what's going to make them happy. They don't want anything disturbing their peace. It's what I'm getting from this person. Sheesh. They, all, they have a stick up their behind, seems like. And then we have a Queen of Wands here. Yeah. I don't know if this person left... Or this person made you guys leave. But um, I feel like they're salty about the whole situation regardless of who left. But they're salty about it. Um, they're very, um, what do you call it? They're very, not egotistical, but they're very proud for sure. And I feel like this person does not want to come across as weak. They don't want to come across as their feelings are easily hurt. So with that being said, I feel like their feelings are easily hurt. But they don't want other people to see that. They have a hard exterior. They're like a soft shell crab. <laughs> okay. So I definitely feel like cancer is here. And then we have the six of pentacles again. Taurus energy here. 
okay um, I feel like this person wants to spend time with you guys but they will not be the first one to admit that is the thing uh, they don't want to be taken advantage of they don't want to uh, feel to be uh, to feel like they've been made a fool out of, out of like um, they're one of many or one of a few they want to feel like they're the only one because they feel like they're entitled to that shit okay very prideful individual here what does this person really want with Scorpio look at that ten of cups they want to be happy with you they want it all with you on an emotional level they may not show it though that is a thing. They may act like they want to be single when they really want to be in a relationship with you. Six of Cups. They really want to be in a relationship with you. Get back together with you. Because they think about you guys as like just that you're more than family to them. You're more than just a loving connection with them. You are something like out of this world like no other for them okay they want to get back together they want to be with you they want to love you they want to tell you that shit they want to tell you that shit I feel like more so than wanting to tell you they want you to know it they want you to know it more so than they want to tell it to you they want you to feel it They want you to feel it. I'm feeling that so very strongly. Like you should know how they feel. You should know what they want. And I kind of feel like you do here with this high priestess energy. Like deep down inside, even though you guys have not had a conversation about this necessarily. But I feel like you know how this person feels. You feel their energy. You feel their energy. This is what they want. They want you to know that they they want to be with you. They want to be in a relationship with you. They want to be happy with you. They want to be stable with you. They want to move in with you. They want to marry you. Whatever that situation is for you guys, this is what they want. Again, Aries energy. Aries Pisces is very, very strong. Aries Pisces Taurus, I'll say. Very strong in your reading very very strong in your reading and then you have um, uh, cancer and um, Scorpio like yourselves could be an air sign as well Libra Gemini Aquarius but I feel more so than anything you have Aries Pisces Taurus very strong for some of you guys okay so that's what I have for you and I'll be speaking with you guys soon bye